supernovamusic.com. Hey, I'm Klaus from Bitwig. I'm going to show you some little features in Bitwig Studio. It will be re released March 26. And if the little feature that we have is, let's play this here. One bass loop, one drum loop. I'm just going to show you how you can bend pitch here. Then up one octave. Down. A curve on it. So this is the per step automation. Yes. This is polyphonic note expression. So I can do a chord and do the individual notes of the chord in separate pitches. I'm not limited to just changing the pitch. I can also pan notes individually. You won't hear this in your video, but now I'm panning one to the right and one to the left. I can also control the gain. called timber. And timber can be run to anything of the synth sun. I'm not going to switch off the synth. You see that these guys are modulation sources. If I click it, it will activate the layer on top of everything else where I can just assign it whatever I want. Now I'm just going to say, oh, I assigned this to oscillator soon. And at the place where I added this note expression, I get this automation applied. So now this is not automation, this is note expression. It's contained within the note and works polyphonically. So it follows along with the polyphonic notes. The same way I assign timbre here, I can assign any kind of control, like the LFO. Also the modulation source working the same system. I just click it, it allows me to modulate anything I show. Like in this case, filter cutoff. Macros works the same way. I have eight macro controls that I can map to anything. Like, let's say noise. Now if I turn it, you get like a high level control that you have to do on the top level. Now, with policy, you can actually add some effects on top of it. I can add it to my opportunity if I want to. I'm not happy. 
see how something is timing wise. I can also stretch it. By like adding a warp marker here and dragging it. Documents open at the same yes. time. There's multiple documents. And drag and drop among them. Yes, I can just, let's say I want this track here. I can just drag it over to this one, drop it somewhere. And now it's there with all its clip, all its uh, synths and everything. So it's easy to just take ideas that you had before and we're using it in a new song. And um, one skew with everything included. Right? Yeah. Just one full Big Daddy version. And the, um, the ability to pull apart the instruments, the modular subsystem, is that a version 2.0 feature or will that be in 1.0? That's a very later feature. Okay. Anything else that we've heard about that's coming later? What? Anything else that's coming in a later version? Yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming in a later version, but we want to focus on version 1 that's oh, sure. It's just that we have an interesting roadmap for the future. We're hoping we're going to really deliver on it. And uh, shipping soon, yes. right? March 26th. And uh, Mac PC Linux. Mac PC Linux, yeah. Um, document compatibility across platforms? Yes, of course. Yes. I mean, it's no problems like that. And 32 and 64 bit PC plugin hosting. We built in the sandbox, so the plugin crash will take down the host. And I was talking to your uh, cohort here about you guys, rather than uh, licensing the same time stretch audio engine that everybody else uses, have rolled your own in house. Yes. Yeah, I wrote that one. And Excellent. I'm happy with the results. It's yeah. It's good sounding. Good. Good sounding algorithm. Uh, anything else we should know about this right away? You will have to feel it and use it will there be to a, realize how quick it is. Will there be a demo? Yes, of course. I mean, we're cool guys. We're, we're not going to force it to use a huge dongle and not to be able to have a demo version. Of course, we can try it. We're, we know how annoying it is when people do stuff like that. So. Sure. Yeah. And I see you're showing two monitors here. You do have multiple monitors. So far. Yeah. One, two, or three monitors. I'm trying to think of any of the other banner features I've heard about to ask about, but I think you've covered most of them. Yeah, probably. Okay, Bitwig Studio, thank you very much. Yeah. Novamusic.com.